Hi, I'm Carol Sunday. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do two colors stranded knitting with both strands held in one hand. And this is my favorite way of doing stranded knitting. I love it because it's so pleasurable. Um, the motions are small and controlled, and so it's easy on my fingers and on my wrists. I like how easy it is for me to get nice, even tension in my finished fabric. And if you've got a lot of floats to catch, uh, this method makes that really easy too. So uh, let's get started. We'll start off by uh, looking at how to wrap the strands around our fingers to tension them correctly. Then we'll do a little knitting. And then near the end of the video, I'll show you how to trap your floats. So with this project, I've got a, a brown yarn for my background color and a white for my contrast color. And because I want the white to be kind of prominent against the, the brown background, I'm going to bring that strand in from underneath and we'll wrap it around our fingers first. Starting over the index finger, under the middle finger, and then we'll give the yarn a twist, put it over the ring finger, and it helps to have some rings on, I find, to keep the yarn in place. And then we'll bring the ball end of the strand up over the pinky for now. So that's it for the contrast color yarn. For the background color, we'll bring that up over both index and middle finger, under the ring finger, and then a twist to the right and loop it over the pinky. Now we can take the contrast color over the pinky to secure that one in place and we're ready to knit. So I'm just doing a 3-2 pattern here for my background color um, and both strands are being worked continental here so we bring our right needle into the first stitch on the left needle and for the background color just scoop it up from the top and bring it through. Scoop it up from the top and bring it through. Scoop it up from the top and bring it through while the white stays pretty much in place. And now two, two white stitches and we'll just pick that white strand from the bottom and run it through while the brown stays in place. Pick the white from the bottom, bring it through while the brown stays in place. And so first one from the top, brown from the top, brown from the top, and white from the bottom. So this is a good time to check our tension and as we work the strands, the strand that we're working should flow through your fingers pretty easily without too much resistance while the other strands should stay in place. Um, we can also check our tension by looking at the back of the work. The floats should be nice and even. Uh, no one color should be tighter than the other, but if you do find that uh, one of the colors is too tight compared to the other one, we can make adjustments here. For instance, if the brown background color is too tight, we can change how that's wrapped around our pinky. Instead of, instead of looping it to the right and bringing it over our pinky this way, we can loop to the left and bring our pinky in front and over like so. Now there's a little less tension in this strand, but it's still secured from the back. Similarly, if it's the contrast color that's too tight, we can change the way that's looped around uh, the ring finger. You can add you know, an extra ring to your pinky to make uh, more tension there. So there are different little tweaks you can make. Everybody's hand is different, so um, just figure out what works for you, but this is kind of a good starting off point. So now we're ready to knit some more. And although I'm working in short stretches here with just two or three stitches per color, um, sometimes the pattern may call for several stitches, say of the background color in a row, in which case we'll want to catch our floats. And the way we do that with this method is really easy. Um, if it's the brown color and we want to catch a float, we just bring um, our needle up under the white to catch the background color from above from it actually brings the background color down below the white so now we're we've caught one float when we changed the direction of our knitting now when we go back to take it from the top 
we've caught another float. So every time we change the direction from which we grab the yarn, we're adding another uh, catch to our floats. So that's how to catch the background color. Catching the contrast color is a little trickier. It's a little acrobatic, but it's fun once you get the hang of it. So if you're knitting in contrast color and want to catch your background float, what you'll do is you bring your, after inserting your right needle, bring it behind both strands of yarn, grab the white and bring it over and then through. We'll do that again. Insert your needle, bring it behind both strands, catch the bottom strand, bring it up over, and then through. And now we've caught a float when we change direction once. Now we're back to knitting it from the bottom. And that's that. So. So there you have it. I hope you give it a try. And like any new technique, it'll probably take a little practice before this comes naturally and goes smoothly. But uh, give it a try. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Happy knitting.